What's going on everyone? It's Garrett and I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning of that video with the nice cinematic clip. So in today's video we're going to be talking about doing color grading and color corrections with Adobe Premiere Pro CC. You guys can use other premieres, I just prefer if you guys use the Premiere Pro. I know some people don't have it or can't afford the new collection, but uh, basically you're going to be going over a few things. As long as you guys can make adjustment layers and then use Lumetri Color, you're basically set. So. The big thing about color grading I do want to talk about is it really sets the tone for the type of video you want to do. As you can see in the beginning of the video and also on the screen now, I kind of have this blue kind of low um, tint to it just to create that more of a uh, cold and more of a um, nice mellow kind of feel to it. If I wanted to you know, make it a little bit more exciting, I could have used brighter colors. So a big thing, a part of this whole entire tutorial is going to be learning about color theory as well as just knowing what you're going to be doing. So you guys are going to need some type of clip to add the color grade to. This can be a clip of you walking to your car. This can be a clip of you um, typing on your keyboard. It doesn't really matter. I personally went over to Video Blocks and found my own clip to use. I've been sponsored by them in the past and uh, it's just a really great website. You guys can get a free trial on the link in the description if you guys really want to. Basically, I just went onto here and I just typed in, you know, slow-mo or something like that. And then I would have to go through just any type of clip that I want to use, I would just have to make sure that whatever I'm using doesn't have a color grade already onto it. So something great to use would be like water flowing or maybe people running. It's just something that you can use to um, practice on. You don't have to be using it to make it your own clip. Of course, using your own clips is just a lot easier to do and a lot more professional. However, I just don't have the time to go out and record something like this for my video. So going right into this, I'm just going to start off with a basically a clean slate. I'm going to delete everything I have so we can just start from the basics. So all you want to do is basically create a new document and import your clip. For this, I have just a woman standing and snow falling onto her. So I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to want to drag it into my timeline and then basically go to any point within the timeline that you want to use so you guys can figure out where and what you want to do. So I'm going to go literally anywhere into this just so I can have, you know, a nice high quality image to look at. So this, I believe doesn't have any color corrections on it. If anything, the, the background's blurred, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that they use a lens for this. So what you wanna do is starting to make adjustment layers. So you wanna go to project, go to file up here in the top left hand corner, go to file, new, and then go to adjustment layer. Now you can put these to the time base to whatever you want. I'm just really anal about using 60 frames per second for these kind of things. So I would just click okay for that. If you guys can't click on adjustment layer, make sure that the project tab is actually clicked right here on your screen. If it's not there, you have to go to window and then click on project down here. So all I want to do now is drag that onto the top of the clip. Now I don't need the whole entire time to do this. So I'm just going to pretty much make these a little bit smaller so that my computer renders everything faster. So. Like I said, go into a random part of the clip that you want to use and then you want to click on the first adjustment layer and you want to go to your effects tab right here. Of course, if this is not here, same thing, go to window and click on effects and you want to type in just noise. So you want to scroll down until you get to the noise and grain section and click on just straight noise and drag it onto your adjustment layer and then click on your adjustment layer, go to right up here to effects controls and then you're basically going to have everything up here. Now what you want to do next is unclick right here it says use color noise. If I make this a little bit bigger you guys can see what it says. Now color noise is going to add that really crappy um, color grain that you get from cameras. If I up the opacity you can see it's kind of like that digital effect to it. And you really don't want to use anything like that whatsoever just because it's going to really tone down everything. So you want to unclick use color noise and it's going to make everything black and white to kind of create that cool effect. Then you can just lower your opacity and you don't want to make just a crazy amount of noise like that just because it doesn't look as clean. You can use something around like 10. And of course, if you don't want to look at it, you want to see what it you know, looks like without it and looks like with it. You can click right here to this little eye and it'll take it away and put it together. So, you know, using something like 10 really kind of creates just a little bit of that grain effect to kind of create that vintage feel to it. It's very good for color grading and personally, I like it a lot. If you don't, you don't have to use it. The next thing you want to do is go back to your project tab and click on it one more time. Go to file, new, adjustment layer, and then same thing. You guys can put it to whatever frames per second and then just drag it to the top. So this is when you're going to start doing your color grading. And this is when you're going to want to really figure out 
the style you want to go with whether you want to go with a cool theme to kind of create a very mellow approach to this a very warm depends really on your clip as well how you want to do this i recommend doing something more of a cool colors for clips like this if you guys want to use maybe a cinematic of you hiking something a little bit more warm to kind of get the um, viewer a little bit more excited so when you have that just click your adjustment layer and bring it in go to window right here and go to lumetri color and just click on that and it's going to bring this tab up here to your right hand corner so the first thing you want to do is click on basic correction and this is where we're going to go straight down the list like we used to on um, Lightroom when we do tutorials on there. Click right here on none and there are presets that you guys can use. Um, you know some of them are better than others so basically you can click right through every single one of these to kind of see which one you like most. If Of course if one of these definitely works for your tutorial or excuse me your video definitely click on it like this because it's very all um, nice you can of course go into there and fix everything like that but let's just start with a new and go straight to none so the first thing you want to do is go to your temperatures and tints um you can do show mask but i'm going to leave that just basically away and this is when you're going to start wanting to do either you know very cool or very warm if you want to make it a little bit more warmer you can bring it to the right side or you can bring it to the left to make it cooler of course if you bring it to the right it's going to be more orange you can bring this to the right more and make it more red and you're going to really need to know, you know, what color mixes to make what, you know, orange and purple can make red. As you can see, when I drag this to the right, it's going to be a little bit more red. So for this tutorial, since I already did the cool version, I'm just going to make it a little bit more warmer. So I'm going to take away that noise grain just for now so I can get that clean picture of her face to mess with. And then I'm going to put this right to the right hand side. I'm going to leave it on a 40. Now that I have that, I could bring this to the left hand side to bring out the greens. But I'm actually going to bring it to the right, just like a tad, maybe like a one or a two or a three to kind of bring out just a little bit more reds. And of course, I can bring this down to kind of do things. So for the tones, you can mess with the exposure and contrast and everything like that. It's the same thing like I like doing. I always like messing with things a little bit more and not really rushing into it. And it's always easier to take away than it is to put up. So if you want to make the contrast a little bit higher, or excuse me, the exposure and then make the contrast more you can do that highlights i always like bringing out highlights within the person just because you know it's going to really bring the whole entire color scheme out shadows i'm going to make them a little bit more darker whites you now you can balance those out to the left a little bit to make them darker you can bring out the blacks or you can make them a little bit brighter i'm like going to leave that around like a 6.7 and then you can basically scroll down if you want to click auto that's basically going to be autoing doing everything for you i just don't want to use that just because the tutorial is not going to make any sense then saturation everyone knows the saturation is how much color is being shown and i could bring that to the right a little bit to kind of bring out maybe the skin tone over here and it might not look like a perfect skin tone but it's going to make the cinematic look a little bit cleaner so now that we have that if we want to see what we did so far we can click on the eye right here and take it away and you can see that right away it's just so much cleaner it's so much more professional and this is just something that we want onto this clip so now that we have that you can click right here on basic correction and drop that down you can click on creative and then you can basically start messing with other things just like faded film which is going to make that um that kind of faded film effect to it i personally like using this a lot saturation vibrance um sharp i'm going to leave that just all the same you can basically mess around with these as well. You know, some of the presets have them on there as well. Color wheels is basically going to be your shadows and mintones and highlights. HSL secondary is going to be your color correction. So whether you want to add maybe more of an orange tint to it, you know, you can do stuff like that. I'm going to take that away as well. And last is the vignette, which is going to be that kind of black border around it. So I'm going to make it just a little bit more darker. The midpoint's going to be a little bit closer. I'm going to feather it in and then around this is going to be more of a circle rather than an oval. And now that I have that, I could basically go back around, go back to basic corrections and then I could make it just different. And if I wanted to just like make it more of a blue color, I can just drag this over here and make it more cool to make it more warmy and more home. And now that I have that done, I can add that noise layer back onto it or I can take it away whether I like it or not. So this is really how you do it. This is kind of the cool effects to it. Now, if you want to add music to this, you really need to find just a simple kind of song to match everything. So what I usually do is I go into youtube.com and I'll just type in something like B-roll music. And the reason behind this is just because I need to find a song that can work 
and you don't want to use a very big high techno song because you don't want things to be pumping unless of course that's your style so you can have songs like that the song i just recently used was a rom left alone so i'm going to drag this into my premiere clip i'm going to put it right here in the bottom and i can just play the beginning song with you and you guys can just see how it looks for yourself So you can see that it has that kind of you know nice effect to it. Of course, you can mess with the clip size so it can have a little bit more of a um, song to it. So I'm gonna replay it one more time for you guys. All right, so you basically get the hang of everything, and this is just basically how everything works. And you know you don't want to rush everything like this. Of course, you want to take your time. You want to do things. If you really want to go back and mess with other things, you can click on adjustment layer one more time. And then you can click on like show mask and then you can just basically click on like parts of her face that's not really something that i like doing i like doing it all myself you know if you want to make it a little bit more cool maybe bring out a little bit more reds or maybe greens just to kind of even everything out you could definitely do that and of course it's really how you want to mess with everything so take this tutorial and start doing things yourself i want to see what you guys can come up with let me know in the comment section below you know dropping links to your youtube videos to print screens and stuff like that whether what you make or um kind of inspiration that you guys have so let me know how everything works if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and enjoyed these kind of tutorials on my channel let me know in the comment section below of course you guys can join my discord chat is basically made for designers and people just to have fun with art very good for getting um, client jobs, actually. I drop a few into the chat all the time. You guys can talk to other designers. You guys can have fun. It is basically show your work, get some good opinions, and then figure out what you want to do from there. So that's going to be the tutorial for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, it's a very good tutorial to know as you guys want to start making your clips, start making your videos just a lot more clean, a lot more professional. And I definitely would take this into consideration next time you start editing maybe um, a video from your high school football team or something like that. So like I said, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Just one more time, I want to show you without the CC and then with the color grade. And this is basically what you want to do and this is basically how everything works so later on this month i'm going to be dropping a nice color grade um pack for you guys it's going to be a part of my 20,000 subscriber pack so be on the lookout for that and that's all i have for today thank you guys so much make sure to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in my later on videos and it's been garrett peace out